Welcome back to my channel. The very first thing that you probably noticed is that my eyes are brown today. My eyes are actually brown every day, um, but I just love to play with colored contacts. So some days when you see me in a vlog, they're gonna be green and some days blue and some days kind of gray and then some days like this. That got me to thinking about how my desire to constantly be changing things up is probably what spawned my wardrobe obsession. And I mean, Obsession. I love to watch other people's closet tours. It literally, to me, it's like art. Just watching, just looking at like how everything is displayed and, and how their mind works when they're gonna, you know, put together an outfit of the day. I'm just gonna share my closet with the world. I'm gonna climb that mountain and plant my fashion freak flag and I'm gonna fly it. So if you wanna go to Gluttony Island with me, let's go look at way, way, too much clothing. All right guys, let's go into the bedroom. Now, what would a closet tour be without a stop at all of the shoes? Oh, I basically just took two white bookcases and then I ordered extra shelves, you know, until I had the number of shelves. But let's go through some of these shoes. Now you have your like brown slouchy boots and then those are the tan knee boots and hunter boots and those are fry boots, both of those in the middle, the black and the tan, and then those are another pair of black knee boots, and then the gray ones up there are Uggs, and they're all standing upright like that because I put a pool noodle in them, and I did that in my um, five fall shoe hacks video, so if you want to see that, but these are just my, you know, like little ankle booties, and then some of, you know, dressier flip-flops, and then just casual flip-flops, and then those are high heels, and then these are more of like just really low ankle booties and various summer shoes. And then we'll come over here from the other side. Um, and this is basically what I live in right here anyway. You know, my workout gear, and those are competition heels. Straighten up. And so it's just like Converse and um, more, just more shoes. And then here's a bunch of like little flats and like um, these are, um, little coach loafers. And so I just have a bunch of, um, you know, different little types of flats, dressier shoes. Get in here so you guys can actually see this stuff. And then there's a bunch of other boots. And these are, these are Sam Edelman. They're called the Louis Fringe Boot. And then of course, no closet is complete without your um, Steve Madden, you know, combat style boots. And then my little ombre boots. And these are just hiking boots for when the kids and I go hiking. Let's go over here. These are just hats for summer. And that spot right there is for my fall hat, but it's in the car. So. All right, now we're going into the closet in the master bedroom. And this closet is pretty much the reason why I chose this place. Not really, but it's close. Um, so you can see over there, that little basket down there, those are all my belts. And then up there in the corner, those are all like scarves and gloves, extra hangers. That's more kind of stuff I don't really wear or stuff that's mostly just for summer. And then here are dresses, pants, workout jackets, blazers, cardigans. And then down here we have all of my skirts. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, Mommy Dearest, but whenever I look at these two hangers right here, well, like these four, it makes me kind of manic, because if you look at the rest of my closet, all of them are, you know, the nice, like, velvet and metal hangers, which I highly recommend, by the way, because not only are they better for your clothing, because they don't leave, like, little snags and whatnot, but also you could just have a lot more of them, and look, obviously, they just look nicer. And when you move, they're a lot easier to move, because they lay flat. They're not round, you know, like plastic hangers. But this drives me crazy to see that. I just don't have enough of this kind. So I just need to hit up Amazon. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present, I'll totally take pants hanging. Um, and then, you know, up here, those are like my workout shorts and shirts. And then, like I said, I'm not a huge handbag person. I have a few 
Like that up there is my um, like black leather backpack for my kids and I do like fairs and festivals and stuff. And then, you know, bags for date night and girls night and all of that. And then this is the bag that I usually seem to take to court with me for some reason. And um, a couple of whatever you call backpacks. These are just some of my, um, what do you call? Hello, headbands. And then, okay, if you're a short girl, you feel the struggle is real. Look at that. Yeah, you know what that's for. It's so I can reach all the rest of that stuff. It's one of those pop-up ladders. Yeah. And then over here, this is just my, like it has all these different drawers and you know, these drawers have all kinds of stuff in them, like hair products. It's where I keep all my extra stuff and each drawer has its own separate, you know, theme basically. Like some are hair, some are, you know, eyes, whatever. To the door. All right, now I made this up because I kind of just got tired of having this stuff laying everywhere. But I just took like a pants hanger and then these are two of those little contact strips. You know, you just, so you hang one that way and then one upside down and then you kind of secure the pants hanger between it and then voila, all my sunglasses are right there where I can see them and I wear them a lot more because I can see them. <laughs> now, and then the same thing with my headbands and little hair bows and stuff like that, exact same arrangement. I am all about, as you probably are seeing, making sure that everything is easy to reach for because if it's not, I'm not going to use it because when I'm getting dressed, I'm. You know, I have two kids, so there's like very little time. All right, and then this little thing is just, I bought this at Ross like a thousand years ago. And same thing, I just took those little contact strips. And then I just took it outside and I spray painted this top part white and this part pink. And this is where like say, like let's go over here and grab an outfit. So let's say that like, okay, tomorrow I wanted to wear that. So I would, you know, hang that there with, you know, let's say that, and I was gonna pair it with these sunglasses, okay? And then that way in the morning when I get up, my stuff is right there. And obviously there's nothing on it right now because I'm already dressed. I never had a proper vanity until a couple years ago and I'm so glad that I did this for myself. Now that desk, and I'll try to remember where I got that stuff, but honestly I really don't remember offhand. But that mirror I made, again it was just a Ross, like a mirror I picked up at Ross and then I spray painted it white and gold like that because I just thought it looked very luxurious. And then, these things look so gross. They were spray painted gold, but too many moves and too many trips, and that's what they look like now. But these are all my um, my MAC brushes, which as you can see, need to be cleaned. And then I have this, you know, the big mirror for when I do like my hair and whatnot. And then this little guy. Hold on one second, let me try to turn it on here with one hand. So that is an excellent mirror for, you know, it's it just helps you to be able to see what you're doing with your makeup so you don't end up walking out of the house looking all crazy. And then those are my brushes and my hair stuff. And we'll go in here. Okay. All right. And so this is my makeup drawer. I'm not, I mean, I love makeup, but I'm not, I don't love it the way that I love clothing. So some girls have tons of makeup. I, I feel like I have more than my share. Now these are, you know, my eye palettes. And then, as you can see, I'm like, obsessed with this brand. And my Mix. I love their stuff, just love it. And then, so this is all, you know, lips, lip liners, lip glosses. And then, this is all eye stuff. And then, my son spilled my powder in there the other day, so I have to clean that up. Thanks, little buddy. Um, you know, oh, this was the thing that I did a review on the other day. Go get this stuff, it's amazing. And then these are just like hair clips that I use for when I'm doing my hair and the most important makeup tool ever, the blending brush. You have to have one of these in your life. All right, and then we are gonna go have a look at the jewelry next. All right, now we're gonna look at this jewelry, which this is not where it normally sits. And I apologize for the lighting in this hallway, it's terrible, but it's worse in the room where it actually um, usually rests. But I just pulled it out here so I could show it to you guys. So that is just like, I think it was, whatever you call it, it's just a picture frame. And then I took the picture frame out of the back and I put like mesh netting and stapled it into the back and then I just spray painted the whole thing pink. And this is great because, I'm gonna get down here on the floor if I can show you guys. And this is great because you can just, you know, you take it off, whatever. And then you just walk up and slide it in like that. And then you have all of them laid out. And it's not just about them being displayed pretty, which of course I think that looks like artwork, but it's also that you can, it's just easy to use. So for me, ease of use means I'm going to use it. Um, now these are two boards that I made 
I don't even know. I'm like squishing around on the floor down here. Um, I don't even know. It was a long time ago, but there, so it has a place for your rings and then your bracelets, watches, shorter necklaces, and then this one over here. And yeah, I know no one should need two of these. Okay. I know that I have a problem. And then these are for like longer necklaces and you know, bangle bracelets, things like that. And then I put my sunglasses over here. And yeah, so then the last thing I have to show you guys is the part of my closet, which is in the garage. <laughs> so let's go look at that. All right guys, this is, yeah, this one you know you have a problem when your garage becomes a closet. I mean, not, not really, it's just, it's just easier for me to organize it this way, but yeah. All right, so let me show you the side shot like this. And yes, this is out in the garage, but I don't park my car in here, so it really doesn't make any difference to me um, that it's in the garage. It's actually really nice because the lighting in here is, well, it's not good for filming, but it's excellent when you walk in in the morning because I could see everything. It's not like I'm not walking up against the walls of a closet. All right, now I do not, as you probably can tell, color code my wardrobe. I don't do that. I think that's great and it looks great if it works for other people. The reason I don't do it is because then I feel like so like right here, for example, if this were all, you know, white to black, to me, that would all just look like, okay, there's four white shirts and I don't know, I would have trouble deciding which one to wear. So I like to organize my clothing by what type they are. So like these are my kind of, you know, loose, flowy, you know, dressier types of shirts that maybe you'd wear with like jeans or jean shorts. And then these over here are like, you know, just your basic camis and basic tank tops. So you know, in other words, all just basic pieces, maybe layering pieces or tops that you would wear in the summer. And then down here, I have like all of my, you know, your graphic print tops that you wear. And then, you know, going all the way to slightly dressier. And then this would be like your dressier stuff that you would wear with like pencil skirts or things like that. And then these are things that you would wear out, you know, at night when you're trying to look sexy. Um, Right there, all right, and then over here, these are just your basic, you know, again, layering pieces. Just your standard gray t-shirt. And then over here, I have all my wonderful sweaters. And I know a lot of people um, fold their sweaters. I don't, I don't like to fold anything. I like to hang everything pretty much. So these are all my sweaters, like for fall and whatnot. And then over here, these are just, I'm not a huge person for shorts i wasn't until last year um but i am now so i yeah but i think i have enough shorts i don't think i need any more but these are like more like my beach shorts or gym shorts this is stuff that you know wear to the pool dressier shorts and then these are just like your casual shorts for summer and yes i know i have my jean shorts on and probably that's crazy but i don't really care and then you know all of my whatever and again all hung by type i don't do it by color and maybe it would look prettier but i don't care i like it like this so that's what I'm gonna do. And then here are all of my, you know, dress shirts for when you have to, when you have to adult and whatnot. And then all of my flannels and button downs, things like that. This one's my favorite. This is my, the only rail shirt I own, but oh my God, I love this shirt so much. And then down here, again, organized by, you know, type. These are all my pants that I have. Not all of them, actually. There's a huge stack in the other room. Um, but I'm trying to like cut down to only the ones that I actually do wear. So here are, you know, like little moto jeans and stuff like that. And I love these kinds of pants hangers. I cannot more highly recommend them. They're just so easy to use. They don't leave marks on your clothes when you pull your pants off. You don't have those weird lines. All right, and then over here we have my vests and coats. And then up here, these are like my, um, you know, sweatshirts and this is my, my favorites right here. This is frequently how I'll put stuff when I'm trying to figure out an outfit. I'll just hook it on other stuff. I just love that sweatshirt. I don't know why, but I do. And so these are just like sweatshirts or, you know, camping or hiking sweatshirts. And then of course things like your, you know, no closet is complete without a leather jacket or in my case, two or three. <laughs> Is that a problem? And then those are all coats. Now, mind you that I have lived in many different places, so I have coats that are appropriate to 
all kinds of different weather and that's probably why I've ended up with a lot of these clothing because I just you know we just kept moving around um all right and then I think that is about it for my gluttony and closet. what good would all of that clothing be without several lookbooks so I'm gonna start doing lookbooks pretty regularly maybe once or twice a month um, just to show you guys I mean I frequently shoot my outfit of the day and I put it on my Instagram but I don't always do YouTube videos about it, so I'm gonna try to be better about that, especially now that I have shared with the world like all this this arsenal of clothing that I have for outfit of the day. All right, guys, I'm walking back from my from showing you guys all of that stuff, and oh my goodness, I'm just feeling like after just filming all of that for y'all, like wow, you have so much clothing that is just ridiculous. But anyway, I hope that was fun for you guys. Um, today, we're, well tonight, the kids and I are going to like a Halloween kind of a festival and then we have all these Halloween events that we're going to this weekend and so we'll be vlogging all of that for you guys and I hope you're getting in the Halloween spirit. I think I have settled on my Halloween costume but I'm not 100% sure so I'll show you guys that in a few days. Um, my daughter is a Greek goddess and my son is going to be Superman. They actually wore their costumes to school today because they had like some costume day. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys have the most fantastic day today. And that's it. I hope to see you guys in my vlog tomorrow. Bye loves.